Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another Operation Bikini Body video. So I'm gonna show you guys a little weigh-in slash like physique update. Um, and then I'm gonna go over a vegan grocery haul. I went to Target this morning. Um, today my mom actually has my son all day. Praise the Lord. Uh, my son has had a little attitude lately, so I've been looking forward to having a break and just having like a mommy day. Moms, you feel me out there, right? When you're able to just go to the grocery store or get gas or anything super simple by yourself, it literally Really feels like a vacation like you guys know I love my little man so much but I was so overdue for just like a day of me time so I'm not even at home relaxing today I'm like editing and doing stuff because when I have like days off I still like to work because hello my work is so fun I can just like film for you guys but anyways a lot of you have been asking me what are my staple meals and snacks I'm um, eating a vegan diet because a lot of you want to switch to veganism or just have more like vegan meals in your diet um, and I'm not a pro or anything, but I did pick up a bunch of food at Target, which is all vegan plant-based. So I wanted to show you guys everything that I got. And then also to start this video, we're going to switch to a little clip of me doing a weigh-in. I found a new scale, which I actually love for my weight loss journey because it accurately tells me my body fat percentage. I was using a, like a really old scale from Target that I had for maybe four or five years. Um, and it was kind of like breaking down and I would always look at the store for a new scale. But the ones that had body fat were like a hundred bucks. There was some from like Fitbit and like the biggest loser brands and they were way too pricey. You guys know me, I'm always on a budget. I'm always like recommending you something that I know you'll be able to afford. Um, so I finally found a new one that I've been loving. You can customize it, male, female, whatever height you are, and it will tell you your accurate weight and your body fat percentage, which I really like, especially on a weight loss journey if you don't lose pounds one week, like if you don't lose any weight itself but your body fat percentage goes down, you're still winning. So um, yeah, we're gonna do a little weigh-in. I'm gonna show you guys that. I will leave the scale um, in the description box if any of you, I know a bunch of you are like on a weight loss journey because you've told me. So if you're looking for an accurate scale, which is for a very affordable price, I'll leave a coupon and everything down there for you. Yeah, we'll shoot to that clip right now of me weighing in. For those of you wondering, I'm very tall. I'm 5'9", and I started Right before I started Operation Bikini Body, I was up to like 189 pounds. I know, crazy! That's why your girl needs to get in shape. I'm also showing you my weight because so many of you on Instagram tell me like, you don't need to lose weight, you look great, which is so sweet of you. Um, but I know how to angle everything correctly because my job is to be on camera, but in person, like, I'm chubby, you know? It is what it is. So I was like, okay, bitch, get your shit in check. So I think I'm down like eight or nine pounds. Let's go find out. Uh, my ultimate weight loss goal is 150 for those of you wondering. Uh, yeah, I was gonna like keep my weight personal, private, whatever, but we're all family here, right? We're all subscribers and friends. So let's go weigh in and I will see you guys there. If any of you guys are interested in a new scale, this is the box it comes with. Everything just looks like very high end. It comes with all the batteries that you need as well. And then it does show you your weight, your body fat percentage. Um, you can load two different people in here, so it'll ask you like your gender and your height and everything to give you a completely accurate uh, weight and then also a completely accurate body fat percentage, which is really nice. That's something I mentioned in my old scale. It only told me my weight and when you're losing weight, sometimes you won't drop the pounds, but your body fat percentage will go down, which is really like all that matters. Um, and then if you got the really, really sleek, nice design here. So this is just the packaging. If any of you are interested, I will leave all their information in the description box uh, with the coupon for you guys. Go ahead and see what we are today. All right, 178.8, I will take it. So jumping into what I got at the grocery store, I did just go to Albertsons. There's a Whole Food and a Trader Joe's, kind of where I live, but it's on the other side of town. Didn't feel like driving over there today. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to show you guys, I actually ordered this off of Amazon because you can't find it anywhere. It's the Nutritional Yeast Flakes. I heard that these were really good on a vegan diet when you can't have cheese. They're supposed to be really good toppers for any meal or enchiladas or anything that you would like sprinkle cheese on top. This is supposed to be like the substitute, I guess. I've never tried these, so I'm excited to try them. This was like 10 bucks on Amazon. And then at the store, I picked up some more of my favorite veggie burgers. I talk about these all the time. These are from Target, um, the Amy's brand. I really like these. And then I got some cauliflower crumbles. I actually got like four packs of these. Um, my friend Brittany Lesser was talking about how when you make these to sprinkle some kind of like butter seasoning over the top just so they taste better. And I tried that last week and I loved it. So I got those. Picked up some regular mustard. 
Also a little bag of baby carrots. I just like these to snack on. Um, and then I picked up the Walden's Farms pancake syrup, which I've been having over oatmeal in the mornings. Um, if you don't know, these have no calories. So I got that. Also got two things of fresh strawberries, some fresh zucchini because I just love zucchini. This is one of my favorite veggies. Cooking this up with the cauliflower crumbles together with some seasoning and then like a Boca burger in the middle. Mm. Girl, I'm telling you. Then I got this huge thing of just frozen berries for smoothies or I actually like to put those in my oatmeal in the morning as well. More strawberries. Um, also picked up some bananas here. And also for canned items, I got some of the low sodium kidney beans, which are just these ones here. I always try to get just like the regular brand from Albertsons or whatever because it's cheaper and it's the same thing. And then I think I also picked up some black beans, which I didn't put out in front. I think I already put those in the pantry. And then I picked up a few gallons of water and that was it. I wanted to show you guys what I'm having for lunch today because I used some of the ingredients from that grocery haul. So I'm having one of these bagel thins. It's 110 calories for the whole thing. I would usually throw like tomato or avocado on here, but I did run out. So I'm having one of those Amy's veggie patties. And then this is the cauliflower crumbles. They just look a little bit burned. And I put some of the spray butter seasoning on. So that's gonna be my lunch. I did take my Bliss and my Thyro Drive supplements before, like 30 minutes before lunch and then 30 minutes before dinner, just to help so I don't overeat. It kind of helps curb the cravings and just give me pretty good energy for the rest of the day. Um, so I'll have the information listed for these in the description box if you're interested or you've been needing any type of women's supplement stack. These are the ones I've talked about for like a year, so I've consistently used them. If you guys have any questions, let me know. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this up. So next I kind of wanted to give you guys a little kind of mini tour I guess of like my new filming setup. I'm going to be putting a desk right here so it's going to be like a white desk going down and then this so all the corners will be filled. Um, I used to have a table right here but Christian and I didn't even eat at it and I have his own little new like plastic um, like kids table that he loves. So this is where I'm going to be filming most of my videos for you guys. I need to figure out the lighting because whenever I turn these on it comes off a bit orange. Um, but I'm just gonna have like my camera set up in the middle and then lighting on both sides so that my face is illuminated the same way This is this unit here is from Ikea. I've seen a lot of people have units like this There's a matte one and then I chose to get the version that's shiny So this is like the shiny material um, and there's 13 cubes. I just chose to put like flowers uh, Pictures that's my friend Samantha some potpourri more flowers. I have like an Eiffel Tower picture of me and my little guy um, we got some animals going on on this one, a picture of when I was pregnant, more flowers, cubbies, and then in the bottom I found these little cubby boxes from Target. They're actually on clearance, so I chose to get two of each different color. And then this is the chair that I've always filmed with, it's from Home Goods. It's really pretty, it just has a bunch of like studding and it does have um, like the detailing right there. So yeah, this is going to be my filming setup for now. Uh, the painting up top, I think that's from Home Goods, and then I just have in the vases there is some potpourri which I got from Ikea. So this is gonna be like my little setup for now. It's gonna look cooler whenever I have the white desk right here because I can film at an angle and there'll be something on both sides of me. But for now, for like the next few weeks, this is like the background that you guys are gonna be seeing. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, there's like cords everywhere because I have to plug in all this stuff. And I also wanna get a video monitor so I can see my face and everything while I'm filming so everything just looks like perfect. But yeah, a lot of you were asking on Snapchat about this unit, so I wanted to kind of give you guys a more up-close detail of it. So yeah, I'm excited. I really do like how it's coming along.